I can't even explain how many times I have tried to film this video in the past few days. It's been a nightmare. Hello everybody, as you see in the title, I'm going to be giving you a homeware haul. I'm just going to be showing you some of the things that I've collected for my home over time that I thought were really cute and worth sharing. So I'm not going to bore you with this intro, so let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is this cute little strainer that I got from Ikea. I think it's so cute and chic and it'll look really good no matter what kitchen I'm living in. And I just love the little design and this is what the inside looks like. And I just love silver and white together and I just think that it's really perfect and it's a great size for straining noodles and vegetables and things like that. So. I really, really like this. The next thing that I got is this cutting board. I actually have a few of them. I haven't used this one yet. That is why the plastic's still on it. But I love these because I like the size of them and I'm really like a fruits and vegetables kind of girl. So I got a couple of them so that way I can differentiate between what I'm cutting up. So I got one for vegetables and fruits, one for meats, one for like any other types of things that you would be cutting up. That way we're not mixing things and everything like that. And I love the style of it. It's really sleek and simple, but it's from Ikea. You're going to start noticing a trend. Um, I didn't actually plan for this, but I'm okay with it. I'm actually pretty happy about it. But I got some more wooden things. These are just little wooden ladles and sort of like tong type things for salad bowls and everything like that. And I believe that these are from Target, if I'm not mistaken. I just really like them. Again, they're sleek, they're simple, and I just really like the wood look. The next thing that I got is either from Walmart or Target, but it is this large bamboo bowl. It is 100% natural bamboo and I love it because of the size of it. Here is a perspective. It is huge, it's perfect for salads or anything if you're having company over. The next things that I got are these bamboo utensil sets that came in a little package. You could choose what color package you got. So I chose purple. I got these from Fully Raw Christina here on YouTube. She has a company called Rawfully Organic and I just really like what she's all about. She's all about eating completely organic food. It's just a little bamboo utensil kit. And I just think it's super, super cute. So it comes with chopsticks, a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And I just really love that they're bamboo because that's really different from your normal utensils. And I'm just trying to go with the wooden theme at this point. The next thing I got recently from Ikea is this teapot. I'm in love with it because I was sick of the ugly teapot that I had before. So this is just super simple, nothing to it. Just heat up water in it on the stove and you're good to go. And I just really like the stainless steel look. I'm trying to get that to be all of my sort of kitchen stuff. I'm trying to go with the stainless steel theme. So I'm just really liking it. The next two things that I got are these glasses, which I got from Target. First of all, I just really like the look of them. I like the detailing and the design of them. I like that they're not just plain flat glass. And they were on sale at Target, I honestly think for 79 cents a piece. Yeah, I'm not kidding, 79 cents a piece. And I just think they're super cute. I mean, who wouldn't buy these for 79 cents a piece? I just love the look of them and I also love the size of them, again, because I don't drink a lot of beverages throughout the day. I'm really bad at drinking beverages. I just don't really think about it. I'm always busy doing other things. So when I do drink, I don't drink a lot. So this is the perfect size for me because it's not a tall glass. So I won't waste anything and I'll drink everything that's in it. The next sort of kitchen item that I have to show you is this glass. It came empty. I think I got it from Michael's for just a couple bucks. And I just really like the look of it. It's just a glass jar with a big cork cover and I wasn't sure what to do with it when I bought it. I just bought it because as you can tell I love glass and jars and cups and things like that. So I decided to put little cat treats in it so I just have this sitting alongside my cat food and I just thought it was a cute way to display your cat treats. And then going along with that I got this. I think this actually might also be from Michaels but I can't quite remember. It is by the Martha Stewart brand and I don't know if you can see, but it says cat food in cute little dotted blue lettering. And then it just has a little fishy for the handle. 
So you just open it up and there is the cat food. And I just think it's really nice if you have a pet. I just think it's a great way to display your food so you have it at an easily reached spot. But then it's not just an ugly food bag sitting out. I just think it's a nice way to sort of make your kitchen look a bit more classy and it's just cute. And I think they did have one for dogs as well. The next thing is sort of silly but I just wanted to show it to you because I got this from Michaels. It is just a little gardening thing. It's just a mini one. I actually think this might have been just for aesthetic purposes in your home or garden or whatever. but. It actually does work, it has the holes. So I use this just to water my terrarium that I made. And if you wanna know how to make a terrarium, I did a DIY video including that. So if you wanna see that, I will have that link down below. But I just use this to water it every time that I need to water it. And it's the perfect size because you have to be very gentle when feeding your terrariums and your succulents and plants like that. I just think that this is the perfect size and it's cute and it's easy to just set aside it. The next two things are candles that I'm going to show you. The first one is this adorable one from Francesca's. It is a natural soy candle in the fragrance grapefruit mimosa with jasmine and tea leaves. I think it is the most amazing smelling candle ever. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of my childhood. It smells amazing and also I love it because it is in a glass jar. The jar is tinted light purple, sort of like a lavender color. And I love it because when you run out of your candle, you can just clean it out and use this jar for anything you really want. It's sort of like an apothecary jar, so you can just reuse this and repurpose it for anything you want. And I love that about it. So yeah, this was a great buy. The next candle that I recently picked up from Bath and Body Works is Oceanside. Oh my gosh, you guys. The epitome of summer. This smells amazing. If you wanna smell like the beachfront is right outside your door, get this. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. The last two items that I have to show you are these little things that I actually got from a local store, but I thought they were too cute not to show you. They are just little trays, I guess you could call them. I use them just to store little rings on, on my nightstand, but I love them because they're handmade in the USA, and I think that the detailing is absolutely stunning. They just have these little crystals inside of the glass, and I just love the colors of them. They're so unique and different. And they remind me a lot of those coasters from Anthropology that a lot of people have. I love those as well. But they remind me of those. I like the shape of them. They're so unique and I just think they're really pretty. Alright, so that was everything that I wanted to show you for this homeware haul. I hope you enjoyed it and found some of the things cute and maybe inspired you to pick up some different things for your home. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. It makes me incredibly happy. I upload videos once a week, sometimes twice if I can squeeze it in. If you did enjoy this, please let me know by giving it a big fat thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and also I just really like knowing if you enjoyed the video or not. So. Please hit that thumb button if you're feeling like it and if you're feeling even happier you could also comment down below and let me know what kind of things you would like to see from me in the future. I have a lot of fun videos planned for this spring. So excited for one of the upcoming ones. Um, I'm just waiting to get all the rest of my clothes in the mail and then I will be filming that. So look out for spring videos, they're going to be really exciting and I think that is everything I have to say for this video, so I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!